The solar system formed out of a large cloud of gas and dust, and it collapsed under its own gravity. It started whirling around into a disk. The gas and dust started collapsing down into planets and moons and asteroids and all of those things, until eventually it became the solar system as we know it. When people truly stand under a night sky for the first time, I think in some sense it's transformative. I'm Brian Coverline. I'm a senior lecturer at Rochester Institute of Technology. A lot of people underestimate kids. When kids have an interest, they can learn a tremendous amount of things. You just have to find the wonder that inspires them. Three bright stars that form a large triangle, and it's called the Summer Triangle. And they're all some of the brightest stars in the night sky, and they're very easy to find. And if you can find that, you can navigate your way around the night sky. Perhaps one of the most deepest ways to learn is to actually learn together. So you don't have to be an expert. If your kid has an interest and you have an interest, you can find that path of knowledge yourselves. When my son was about six or seven, he got a telescope for Christmas. We could point it at the moon or you could see the rings of Saturn. As he's gotten older, he's found his own place in the world, but we still go out at night. It's something that we do together. Whatever they decide to become, the fact that you've had those experiences and can still share those experiences is something that's very important. I think as long as they can look up at the sky, I think they're old enough to do it. <laughs>